hello guys you are welcome to this amazing video all right this video i'll be showing you how to build this particular website you are seeing all right is a an investment platform you can see that so the right place for online trading on the financial market all right you can see okay you can see different currency or different country all right so you can see all of that then the amazing thing about this particular website is that you can see all this popping up all these notifications coming up on the website so it also has um the day and night switch okay you can see that all right so this is you can see there you can see this, you can switch for day you can switch to night all right so it has all, okay so you can switch from day to night you can see all of that you can see the notification popping up all right so that is it so it has different all the pages has already been edited okay so you can see sign up here you can see sign up here sorry you can see sign in you can see contact you can see all of these services buy and start trading okay now that i've showed you this now let me show you the the user side so this is the user side you can see you can see it says deposit you can see withdraw you can see my account wallet um subscription live market and all of the account verification you can see that here then from there too you can also see you can also see the the admin side so it's very very easy as this is you can see the wallet then if you come over to this side, you can see the admin okay sorry here is the admin you can see the admin can see you can see settings okay account you can see message withdraw deposit wallet okay you can see all of that from the admin side can you see last year can you see all of them showing here all right kyc crypto mining plans crypto live trading plans you can see all of that from the admin side why this is the is the user side all right this is the user side okay so this is the admin side perfect perfect so it's very very easy to to know all right now that i've showed you the user side the admin side right this is the admin side like i said before here is the user side and here is the front end okay now that i've showed you all of this so now let's go and install this particular file all right show you how you can install it how you can configure everything okay so to do that just come to your c panel all right this is my c panel Alright, this is my C panel. So I'll go to my C panel. So this is it. Alright, so this is my C panel. So once you come here, ensure to go to your file manager. Alright, go to your file manager. Okay, this is your file manager here. Alright, so I'll go to my public underscore HTML. Alright, I'm using a, a, a folder. But for you who will be doing this, you're uploading inside your public underscore HTML. You don't need to use any folder. So I'll just come here. This is the file. I've already uploaded the file. So I'll just right click on it, then extract. You see extract here. Okay. Just extract files. It's very, very easy. It's very, very easy to, to edit and configure. So extract. Then click on close. Reload this. So this is the file. Okay, you can see all the file here. You can see all the file here. So what you do is normally you're supposed to select or and click on move. Don't do. Don't do it like that. So don't do it like that. So what you do is just select all, then click on copy. Can you see that? Click on copy. All right. So just remove all of this. Okay, you can see the way I'm doing it now. Remove all of this and pack it to. In this case, I'm using this NN. But for you, just remove it and put it inside this public underscore HTML. Inside public underscore HTML. So I'll move my own to this NN folder. So I'll just click on copy. So once I click on copy, I'll wait for it. Just take some some minutes there about. So you just wait. Once it's done, you come back there. You see all your files insert intact. In, in so while that is going on, you can go ahead and create your database. So I'll go to my C panel again. This is my C panel. Come to database money uh, database wizard. This is this is it. All right, click on database wizard. Then I'll just set it up again. Just so I'll just say X N B B. All right. So this is my database name. All right, then I'll click on next. All right, I'll click on next. So this is my username. I'll see you the same thing. E X N N. Sorry. N N B B. So I'll see you this. E X S N N B B. So I'll just use this as my database name. So I'll copy this. So I can use this one as my information there good so you can see that so this is my information 
for this so database information so i'll click on next so this is how to create a database all right so with this now this is my information so i can click on now so what i will do is i'll go back to see if the file that i copied all right so i will just click on this to go back click on this to go back go to my end end can you see all the file inside the end end can you see all the file inside the end end so you don't need to move right? sometimes you might move it to not work but this time around don't move just copy just copy all right so what you do is let me check settings sometimes if you click on these settings all right if some file did not move just come to this show hidden files just click on settings click on show hidden files then then save all right good so now that we have done this come to come to app if you check the permission here is 055 055 055 055, 055. so i need to change the permission so i'll come to this this app all right open the app you can see all of this so i'll just come to this app all right just change the permission to instead of this can you see there i'll just edit this to 775 just leave this one just change to 775 change permission all right so you can edit so i'll come here now then this config is still showing 055 so also right click on it and edit change permission i'll still do it to 775 permission can you see that's why i can edit some information there all right the same thing with the admin i will also do the same thing change permission to 775 so leave it like that change permission so now that you have remember we created our database at that time so what i will do is i will come to config okay come to config you can see it here then I will click on edit database. This is database here. Right click on it and select edit. Very, very easy. So click on that. Okay, click on that. So this is the database file. So remember, I have already created my database. Oh, where is it? Okay, good. This is it. So I will copy it. So I will copy my database name. Copy it. Then come here. I will change this to. I use that and I just highlight it. Paste it there. Also highlight this, so highlight this, then paste it there. Also highlight this. Can you see it's very very easy? Highlight it and paste it there. Once you are done, click on save changes. You can see changes have been saved. All right, good. So that is how to connect your database. All right. So once you are done with that, so I will need to select all privileges. Can you see that? Select all privileges. Then click on next step. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So you can see it does not have any stress. It does not have any stress. So next is come over to this your search bar and type in PHP my admin. PHP PHP my admin. Here is it. PHP my admin. Click on it. Alright. So once you click on that, so I'll come here. Alright, so this is my database I created. EXSN and so this is it. Click on it then i'll need to import my database your database your database um your sql file let me come here your sql file is inside database let me show you again once you extract your file come to app this is where i, I did uh, the configuration just now let me show you again come to app if you open your app you will see config this is where you edit the database you can see there edit it there then your sql file is inside database you can see it here it's inside database so just download it and upload just download it here and upload all right good so now let's go back so i'll just come here i've already downloaded the file so i'll just come here so click on this is my database i created just now all right so I'll click on import all right good click on choose file all right then this is my database here so i'll just upload it upload you can see there then i'll click on i'll click on import click on import so you can see that it's already importing it's already importing so you just wait for it to import so the rest of the editing okay let me show you the rest of the editing which you are going to be doing is to come to your folder that you have to edit all of these pages you can see them the about this is the about you can see that let me show you here so if you open the site you can see the about you can see the home the home is the index all right is the index you edit the home the about or the, you can see these two uh by crypto uh, copy trading you can see all of this you edit all of them one after the other from the file from the file you can see the about you can see by crypto you can see copy trading you can see contacts 
you can see um, what is again you can see index you can see license so you edit all these pages one after the other now for example if you look at the index this is the index if i click on edit now all right i click on edit file so if you come here you can see it's carrying you can see the name is carrying you need to edit the name you can see the name is carrying you need to edit the name so if you also scroll down a bit you can see the link is carrying too you can see the link this is is carrying so you need to put your link there your domain link you put it there that's not your link okay so you need to edit all of this then if you also want to edit the email edit the email edit the phone number one after the other now the easiest way to edit okay you can see just right click just highlight all of them like this for example because there are so many of them here just right uh, highlight it then press control control key press control h can you see that now if you press control h from your keyboard it will highlight the particular one then the one you want to put there you just put so my own case now just select this now can you see this i'll just copy this one now for example that's my domain then i'll come back to where i want to edit this so can you see it's very very easy i'll paste it there then i'll click on all it will change all can you see all of them have changed at the same time that is the most easiest way to edit a, a, a website then also if you check the name the same thing if you want to edit the name now to just see highlight it then Press Ctrl H, then type whatever thing you want to type there. That is how to edit file. Okay, so this is it. So the file has uploaded. All right. So click on settings. Click on settings. All right. Click on settings. Let me check. All right. You can see settings. So once you click on settings, you need to change. You can see site URL. Put your site name there. Your site URL and your email. You put it there. Then the admin. Here is the admin. This is the admin uh, login, all right? So the admin link is this. See the admin link here. The problem should just type. It. So the admin link is www.yoursiteurl siteurl url.com or any extension there. .com .org, any of them that you have, put it there. Let's say .com forward slash. In this case, your own. I'm using .n uh, forward slash nn forward slash app forward slash admin all right forward slash sign in sign in sorry sign in dot sign in sign in dot php all right so this is the this is the link so my own case now just call me a copy my site this is this domain i'll copy it so i'll come to my notepad so instead of this dot com i'll just remove this so you understand what i'm saying all right, can you see that now? Very easy. So I'll copy this now. If I copy this whole thing, then I'll come here. But you all will not have this NN. You all will not have this NN. But that's, I'm just showing you so that you will see. Can you see that now? So you all will not have NN. So you can see, it just load you to your, to your, um, to your admin. So what you now do is you come over to this side here. This is the admin email and password. So you put it there and it will log you in. All right, so you can see that there. So put it. Okay, so let me do it again. All right, perfect, perfect. So you can see I've already logged into the to the admin. Can you see that I'm inside the admin already? Okay, it's very very easy and everything is working perfectly. It's working perfectly. So the next thing you are going to be doing, come from there, log into the to the user side. All right, you can create an account. Okay, you can create an account. All right, you can create an account and do all the necessary editing. So if you want to edit the logo, you can see right click on the logo, copy the, the image link. You can see the copy image link. Open to a browser, just paste it there so you need you know the location of the, the logo. So the logo is located asset images logo. So I'll go to all right, here is this assets images logo can you see that now logo see this is the logo this is the uh, this is the dark logo the logo and the preloader preloader is this icon that is let me reload it so you will see the preloader you see the preloader this is the preloader this is the preloader so you can see this preloader if you want to change it you can as well change it that's the preloader then this is the logo there are two logo there right you have the you have the the dark logo and normal logo so you need to change it 
All right, I need to change it. So that's how easy it is to configure and edit this particular this particular website. So the rest of the editing is from the file. All right, just edit them one after the other. Okay, so this is it. So if you need access to this particular template I've used in this video, you can just reach out to me via my WhatsApp number. All right, via my WhatsApp number. So this is strictly for educational purpose for those of you that are there looking for a, 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 a template for your project. So it is strictly for educational purpose. Ensure to use it for, for that and reach out to me if you need access to this. Thank you so much and see you in my next video.